Up in the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT, have you ever been to a McDonald's? Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I haven't been in like years now, but yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Months, I, 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 uh, I went, I think I went one, at some point last year, but um, there was a customer who went through the McDonald's drive thru and got their McDonald's. Lovin' sandwich. Ooh, my favorite sandwich on the menu, the McLovin. <laughs> they really should come out with a sandwich called the McLovin Pretty off sure. topic completely. Pretty sure Super Bad has that uh, copyright. I don't know if like you name somebody something in a movie. Oh, I guess at this point it became so popular they probably did cop trademark it or something. Yeah. Anyway, but they could put that dude's face on the on the bun. Like you know, like if you ever been to Harry Buffalo the where, bun, <laughs> where they where they they stamp a buffalo head on the burger bun. Have you ever been there? Yeah. I they do that with McLovin's face. That's like such a great idea but i feel like the uh the opportunity window is kind of passed on that movie from like 15 years well, ago yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like 2023 they're like yeah. we're having on the mclovin burger Everyone's like <laughs> all the all the gen z kids are like what the hell is a mclovin yeah, exactly they were all in grade school when that movie came out super bad is super old yeah right uh anyways so this guy goes to mcdonald's and he pulls away and finds that the bag has thousands of dollars in it. Uh, I heard about this. So essentially, I, I think like heard about this. The, and Wasn't I never like understood 8K this. in the bag. Yeah, I don't remember how, what the amount was. It was thousands of dollars. So yeah. essentially, what had happened is like the manager put the bank run in a McDonald's bag, which is like, why the hell would you do that anyways? Like, just put it in your pocket. Like, I know, right? Like. I mean, when I worked at Blockbuster, I had to take our deposit to the bank. I just put that ish in my pocket. I like I don't understand what the big deal. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, like whether you walk out with a goddamn McDonald's bag or you walk out with it in your pocket, it's almost the same thing. No one knows it. I mean, if you walk out with like the bank bag in your hand, yes, that yeah. says you have money. But yeah, like, yeah. anyways, um, it was five k, five thousand dollars. Okay, so he left. And essentially, they're SOL at that point. I mean, how are you going to know who it is? Because it's just through the drive through yeah. You would maybe know it was a blue Toyota and the guy was white or black or whatever. That was it. And anyway, Jonas, it's a corporate rule that whenever anything goes across that window line into a person's car, they can't take it back. <laughs> yes, including, They'd have to just throw the money including, away. Including their bank deposit. Yeah, they just have to throw the money away at that point. So, so yeah. I guess, I guess I'll, I'll skip a lot. So the guy, for whatever reason, good Samaritan brings the money back. And you want to know what prize he got? Did you hear what prize he got for this? For being a good Samaritan, bringing their thousands of dollars back? Yeah, like free McDonald's for like a year or something. He got $200 okay. and a free McDonald's for a month. And I think oh, they, months. and then I still think that they, there was a, a thing about how like they were trying to like, he was trying to eat too much McDonald's or something. Like, oh, they got him for trying to eat too much. I returned 5K. Yeah, like, I mean, let me ask you this. Could you eat $5,000 worth of McDonald's in a month? No. <laughs> not not and live. Let's see, because how much would that be a day of I McDonald's? Know, man. I man. Look, I, I applaud the guy on his honesty regardless, but that that is... I mean, and look, honestly, it's only five thousand dollars. So, what is that, honestly, to, to McDonald's? McDonald's? Nothing. Nothing. You're right. Like That's they, a drop I mean, in yes, the they would have gotten trouble. The manager may have got fired, probably. Yeah. It's a pretty big offense. Yeah. Um, one time, one time, God, what was it? Somebody I worked with forgot to lock the safe one night mm. at, at Blockbuster. They almost got fired. Like they didn't get fired for that because because no, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. But like, if someone would have come in and got all the money, they would have absolutely been fired for that. They didn't secure the money, right? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so I took a shadow of the doubt and said, even on a 31-day month, the longest months of the year, sure. to spend 5 k in a month, $161 a day. That sounds more reasonable now because of inflation because you know a, a combo meal is like 10 bucks. <laughs> so you divide that by three meals a day. I'm not eating. $53 a meal at McDonald's. I mean, you could definitely get that going. I I, but I don't, it would be hard to not actually day. eat $53 a meal three times a day. Yeah, three, I'm not going to the drive-thru. It would take you... <laughs> you spend your whole... 12 hours just to get through the drive-thru the way it, it'd be sometimes. Rush yeah. hour lunch rush? Yeah, because even if you went with, like, their most popular, biggest, newest sandwiches that, of course, are now, like, 7 or $8, probably. Yeah. Like, because even if you go to Taco Bell, their new, like, Taco Bueno Supremo is, like, $9 for one thing. Like, you want a crunch wrap dog? <laughs> and, like, it's shaped like a dog now. That's why it has dog in the name. Uh, it's, like, 8 bucks. So, like, I mean, if you got, like, five of those, that's $40. 
And you ate all five of those giant crunch wraps. No, I'm nobody. Don't have any. Nobody do that. All right. Nobody eat McDonald's that many times a day. Do you ever see Super Size Me? McDonald's is a sometime snack. Um, Where the no. guy ate McDonald's three times a day for like to see what it would do to his body? No, I did. I want. Is that the same Morgan one where he, Is that the same one where he put the fries under glass for like a long time or whatever, and they like lived? He like took a McDonald's burger and McDonald's fries and like put them under glass and like just in the middle of the room and came back and looked at him and the fries didn't change for like years or whatever uh that is not that movie but i have also seen that where someone has taken like a happy meal and he just crumbled it up in a bag and put it on a shelf for like six months and yeah, came yeah, back yeah. and it, it there was no mold growing on yeah, it yeah yeah like there was like a little mold on the bread but the burger was still like fine it the, looked just the same yeah and, and the that, fries were pristine yeah, I mean, yeah, hard, crunchy, lost moisture, but, like, other than that, yeah, like... Sprinkle a little water on them, put them in the microwave. Yeah, put them in a, do a, a, a rehydrator. Like, you, it's like the opposite. It's like you buy a bag of beef jerky, put it in the rehydrator, and you have... And you have uh, That's it the business we need to get into. <laughs> Air fryers are selling right now, Jonah's rehydrators. So we dehydrate everything, and then you buy our, like, shrunken down dehydrated burgers. You put them in there, it sprinkles some steam on it, and boom, big ass... Prime rib. This reminds me of some a prompt that I actually had written down. <laughs> if you were to take, like, I don't know, like, you know, a McDonald's combo meal and crush it down into a cube as small as you could get it and you ate it, would it would it fill you up? I mean, it's the same volume of food, right? But it's compressed. If it's compressed, it might keep you longer because it would take longer to digest it. But I'm talking about... <laughs> so small the like, amount i'm of holding food, my fingers up like you could see it the at amount home. of food you eat isn't necessarily equal to the amount of fullness that you feel though is it not yeah, i know that I it mean, has it, a, it, i mean the amount of foolish you feel in that moment it, but sati satiation is calories uh carbs and protein yeah so i mean you would get the same nutritional value which sounds like the biggest oxymoron There's ever <laughs> talking about mcdonald's or lack thereof yeah, yeah. I mean, you would get calories, fat, and carbs. We'll put it that way. I don't know. I just feel like if I were to take, like, a bunch of tacos and, like, crush them up in a blender and then, like, put them in a mold and solidify them and then crush them into, like, a tiny cube oh. the size of, like, a D6. No, and then I no. eat that. There's oh. no way that's going to keep me full. Yeah, you're probably right. But I have a better idea. You take tacos. You put them in a food hydrator. You put them into hot dog cases. That's disgusting. Casings. So then you have you eat hot dogs, but the inside of the hot dog is crushed up tacos. So technically, they're tacos. And then would they be a sandwich? I don't know. Crushed up tacos sound disgusting, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it's just taco salad. What you ever eaten tacos? So you ever eaten nachos? That's no, essentially crushed I, up tacos. I, I feel like it's more than just the the ingredients. It's the some of the parts. It's the it's the the uh, juxtaposition of the meat and the lettuce and the cheese. Oh, like every... the layered distribution in yeah. your mouth. Like if you just mixed them into a slurry, I'm not gonna want to eat a slurry of taco. I will agree with you because I will tell you, like, I'll make so every so often I'll make tacos at home and I and like I. I don't I eat soft shells mainly, but I will eat, make hard shell tacos every sometime. And but like when you eat them, they just they break into a million pieces and collapse all over the plate yeah. and stuff, right? So the when I'm eating the actual taco and it's breaking and collapsing onto the plate, it tastes one way. And then when I get done and all the all the scrumblings are on the plate and I stir them all up and kind of exactly. eat what's left, it tastes a thousand percent different. And see, and like we're obviously it'd be like a, I guess it would be like a soft taco. Now I'm not against the idea of like putting all the toxo fix fixings into a meat casing that's not a bad idea like everything except the uh like you bite into it and you get like like the layers of lettuce and cheese and, and some you get some tomatoes on top and some, some oh like layer like layering it inside yeah, you like layer you like put all the taco fixings you put down your meat a, a sheet of meat a sheet of lettuce a sheet of cheese okay and some, and some and then tomatoes you wrap it in and then you just like fold it in like a <laughs> like a like a Chipotle burrito inside of a meat casing. Oh, but the burrito's made of meat. Yeah. Oh, they did that at Taco Bell. I, did they, they? One, they had uh, chicken tacos, but like it was like pressed chicken was the shell, and they put all the fixings inside of it. Oh, okay. Or something like that. It's like the double stack from KFC where the chicken is the— <laughs> It was definitely a good idea until I realized it was a real thing, and now I'm disgusted. It was— <laughs> I'm going to, so yeah, gross. what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some ground beef, spread it on a cookie sheet, really thin, and oh, bake yeah. it in the oven. Then we'll cut it into squares, 
and we'll and we'll get some lettuce and some cheese and some stuff and we'll and we'll just make beef tacos. Something about using meat as bread is just very off putting to me. I don't know. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> something like, about it. It's like uh, what that ri- reminds me of, and I don't know why because that has nothing to do with meat. Is when some of those places I've never had one, and I should have because I used to eat like super fat boy. Is the uh, the bacon cheeseburger where both the buns were grilled cheese sandwiches? What have you ever heard of that? No, is it's that like, like Heart Attack Grill. Oh no, it's not Heart Attack Grill. Someplace in Cleveland that I almost went, I almost went to a bunch of times. But yeah, like each side of the, it's like a half pound burger, and the bu- and the bun is two grilled cheese sandwiches. Is that that melt place? That does it is like- not melt, but that would be melt. Dude, melt is super good, and it's it's yeah. unreasonably. I'm lactose big. intolerant. You ask me just to like drop a <laughs> nuclear bomb in the bathroom. Do you want all the cheese in your stomach? No, I don't. We wouldn't be able to live here anymore if I ate a melt. <laughs> It would just your part of the apartment would just get disintegrated. By yeah, toxic popcorn. spills in Ohio. No, toxic <laughs> spills in our living room. <laughs> Anyways, uh, go to crazytown.com to subscribe for Jonas. DNT. We out.